knocking. Hey, God, let him all fucking. Damn it, I cracked my phone. I can't use it anymore. I guess I could use it as a security cam, though. I installed this uh, IP cam. It's um, an Android app, and it turns your old cell phone into um, a video recorder or like a IP webcam. So it's like a security cam. It'll turn your old Android phone into a security cam. So I installed IP cam on there, and then I put the camera in the window. And uh, first, I wanted to put IP cameras on here on the outside of the the uh, RV. Sort of like uh, Nomadic Fanatic did on his RV, but um, I realized I'd have to drill holes through the, this beautiful RV that I still haven't even paid off, and um, I think that's kind of a bad idea, especially if I don't own the thing <laughs> yet, technically. Um, yeah, and then I don't, you know, there's going to be like potential leak areas and all that. Oops, I half fell off. And because I didn't, I'm not ready to drill holes in the walls of my RV yet. Um, I realized I could just put an old cell phone in the window ledge right there. It fits fine, pointed out the window, and um, you know it's not as good as like a security cam because it doesn't have IR lights so that you can see at night. But uh, to compensate, I put um, motion detection lights, LED lights, on the outside of the rig of the fifth wheel here on, <coughs> and um, yeah, they're solar powered. Um, it doesn't get it really, really bright, but at least um, I think it'll create like a motion activation event, um, an alert uh, <clears throat> for the uh, for the DVR that's recording this footage. It'll realize, it'll recognize that there's movement, and it'll um, trigger a motion. So it'll record that um, if you set it up, it'll record that whatever happened. So at least I'll know that you know something was out there and moved around, and um, it should pick up some things at night. Anyways, um, but during the day it works great, especially when I'm not here. Um, and so yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. Like, it, how do I feel about it? How is it working for me? Um, it's uh, lower than what I expect. Uh, my expectations were. Um, I'm having some problems with maybe it's related to my network or, but I'm only getting like four, two frames a second, and I'm noticing that. Sometimes it's just it just lags and something I'll look at the window I'll see something happen you know like physically it's like someone drove by or someone walked by or walked on the property and um, it should record that but sometimes I notice hey it, just, it didn't even record that I'm sitting right here watching this thing and it's just something just happened so um, I've got some issues with with, with uh, my setup probably because I don't see other people talking about this being an issue I have read some. Yeah, the frames per second can be low, but uh, there's another app. I'm going to try this one. It's called Tiny Cam, Tiny Cam Pro, the little paid version. Of it. I think it's like four bucks or something. The other one I was just talking about was IP Webcam by some Pavel guy. I don't know. Um, and I have the pro version of that. Um, if you don't buy the pro version, it records, but when an ad pops up every, you know, couple of hours, probably every like six or eight hours, there was an ad that popped up and it would. Uh, take it would turn the camera the wet the server off so it wasn't serving uh, the image anymore and anyway that's the reason to upgrade to the pro but uh, like I said I'm having problems so with that software or just my setup so I'm gonna try and see if um, some other software works better and that's tiny cam pro and um, that one's actually more feature rich it like records um, motion events right onto the phone so you don't need another computer to do it um, and it's got it and you can install it on a different phone and then that can act as the remote viewer so you can um, you know use one to record and one to view with the same software and um, yeah so but I haven't tried it yet so maybe I'll make a video about that but so far, it's not working so good. Another problem that I'm having, oh, I had this brilliant idea because I got really excited and I thought, oh, this is going to be awesome. I'll get a whole bunch of these really cheap smartphones. Um, I actually bought one online for $10 and it's Android. It's got a, not a, a pretty old Android version, but it should at least run the software, the IP cam software on it. Um, I ordered that on walmart.com and I, I needed to pick it up 
I think it was delivered like a couple days ago. But anyways, uh, that'll be an excuse to go to Walmart. Dang it. And um, but I did. I couldn't wait, and uh, I actually did um, on a separate trip go to Walmart before it was delivered because I couldn't wait and uh, got a thirty dollar um, phone that's uh, LG Boost and it's um, oh man I wish I knew the name of it L7 comes to mind it's it's by LG um, and uh, Zexel maybe I don't know it's an okay phone it's pretty cheap um, it reminds me of an old cheap phone that I used to have uh, it's got a fairly recent processor but the problem I had is a uh, 5 meg megapixel camera it was pointed out the window and as soon as the sun rose in the morning it hit that and it didn't help that I had reflectics right behind it and it probably like it just hotboxed it in there and um, the whole camera like I heard this doo -doo -doo -doo. I looked over tried to turn it back on it and um, it said something about like overheat protection and it, it turned itself off so ah, that sucks um, so I'm really glad that I didn't buy a whole bunch more of these phones I already bought two as it is so that's like 40 bucks but I don't know I could probably repurpose them or just put them in a, a window that's like not as doesn't have not as bright doesn't have direct sun I was thinking about putting reflectics on the front of the phone to stop the, to act as like a heat shield from the sun and um or maybe yeah and then just cut like a little hole out for the camera there's that or a, maybe don't keep it right on the window uh on the metal part um or anyways i got ideas right and you can throw this phone you can put it out into like my van you know it's it's wi-fi right so as far as long as my wi-fi router is with range should you know get slower the farther i go out but anyways it's already slow as it is man I don't know maybe I gotta look into like some local recording option like it records right onto the phone and then I could just I think there's a uh, and then like sync it up later you know like I could run some script in the background to sync it up upload it to a NAS drive anyway I don't know anyways uh, but that's a really good idea man because that means that the 64 megabit card acts as just a buffer and if there's like a script just running in a loop that just says like watch this folder if you see any new files move it over to this NAS drive and then the NAS drive can point blue light iris at that at the drive and it'll just see incoming video or um, or images and maybe like seam them to or maybe I could as another script I could like seamlessly put them together as like one video file pictures at least it wouldn't be laggy like the video is now you know what I mean anyway that seems like a lot of work just for some stupid camera um, so the, uh, the other option is do it the right way and that would be to use um, uh, rig real IP cams I just didn't want to run the wires but the wires I think is what is needed because the Wi-Fi man the Wi-Fi sucks uh, Wi-Fi sucks um, and this is not just me saying this I mean this is universal why you can't really broadcast a lot of videos streams over um, Wi-Fi but then again I hear people say that they do so I don't know what to think I know as long as you get the frames per second down low that, that's what does it but I, I set all my frames per second low so I, I'm, I'm not even I set it to four frames per second for, for camera that should be enough anyways I, I don't know man um, I probably just need to move up to cat 5 but I, that means I gotta put a hole somewhere to get the wire outside and what I mounted on the beautiful surface here of the RV now another option is uh, just run the wire right down the RV and put some like decorative molding over it whatever um, maybe like cut a PVC pipe rip a, rip a PVC pipe one inch pipe in half some sort of like and then put that right up against the, the wall and run the cord through that and then maybe like decoratively how do you decorate PVC pipe I don't know I guess you could just paint it I'd probably go gray because I do I like gray or camo gray that <laughs> yeah dude camo gray I want everything to be camo gray I bet Krylon sells camo gray uh, paint huh 
that's what I need. So anyways, back to the webcams, that's the plan, and um, yeah, I, I miss my, my webcam setup, I just am dragging my feet, because, um, yeah, the holes, I don't want to put holes in this shit, it's a brand new thing, and I thought Wi-Fi maybe could suffice, but it really can't, even the new generation stuff sucks, for me, it's not working, but who knows, maybe I have some device, it's like, I've heard of this before, you can have some old, shitty device, like I've heard an old printer with Wi-Fi on it, that'll uh, it'll send out packets and just flood the network. So, anyways, maybe I've Asus has got some graph on there. Asus routers are awesome, man. The new firmware on there shows you like a breakdown of which device is sending the most traffic. Man, that thing is so great. So, and it lets you like know which device. Yeah, I just said that. And, um, yeah, so, anyway, I've, I've got problems, but, uh, anyway, it's, it's kind of working, kind of, wor oh, yeah, oh, yeah, webcam, that's, like, the secret weapon right now, because, um, actually, in an RV, I think that this works really good, okay, here, I think, this is my next idea after the phones, because I had one of these just sitting around, it's a, it's a USB webcam, and I have a dedicated computer here, that's set up uh, just to run Blue Iris. I totally dedicated it to that. It's got an i7 processor, so it can crunch video, you know. And um, anyway, that it runs really good on there. Blue Iris runs really well on there. And uh, maybe I can just use like these, like I use an old webcam, plugged into the USB. And that, if you think about it, that goes a lot. That goes pretty well in. It fits pretty well up against the window, looking out. So, and it probably won't overheat, like a cell phone, because uh, there's no battery. I think that's really what the overheat protection is about, is the battery. I mean, they still won't look good at night, but I think they'll be good. What do you think? Um, I was going to maybe get a few more of those. But the problem I've noticed is, uh, the one, at, least, at least the one that I have, the field of view is like that, and I need like a wide area one, so that... Because right now it feel it's like it's zoomed in, and I only can see like the van. I can't even like see around the van. That's how zoomed in it is. So I need a wide angle. And I saw a wide angle one <clears throat> on Amazon for like forty bucks. So I guess I'll just keep buying, experimenting. Which I hate experimenting because then you like spend all this money in the end. If you would have just started the with the what you, what's proven and is known to work, and that's IP cams. And I wouldn't have a problem. Anyways. Not all is bad. I'm making it like complaining about all this shit. But it's it's good. Like the, pro the project is like moving along. And um, yeah, I've got a tablet. I got a tablet to um, stay on all the time. I had to use some sort of app to keep it. So it didn't keep going to sleep on me. So I've keeping the screen on and um, I've heard that can be like bad for them someone said that uh, they've done that to a few of their devices and the, the batteries bulge out after a while so that's probably that whole overheat protection thing in, in some of these cheaper device these Android devices they shut down so I don't know we'll see like I wasn't using that tablet for anything else so now it's like a dedicated monitor for the for the cams which is cool because you can just sit on the couch and watch tv and um and be able to see you know outside so i miss my cams and i hope to get them back soon all right um yeah i'm just blabbing so i don't know if you enjoyed that um i don't know maybe i'll do more of them but uh all right later opportunity be knocking you gotta let them all fuck in I kiss my mother on the cheek, tell her that I love her. 